Learning how to budget can be difficult, as everyone's funding is different, but today we're going to teach you how simple it can be. All you need to do is work out what funding you have coming in and what money you have to pay out. Working out how much money you have coming in. Once you've applied for your finance online, you will receive a statement in the mail telling you how much money you're entitled to. After this, it is important to then calculate what money you will have to pay out. Working out how much money you will have to pay out. Most of your funding will be spent on paying your rent, but remember that after this you will still need money for food, travel, study and other costs such as your mobile phone contract. A good way to budget for the smaller things is to figure out what your weekly budget is after rent and any other regular costs you have. But how do you do this? Meet Bob. He's going to show you how he budgets his money. Bob is eligible for living cost funding and tuition fee funding. However, his student funding body pays his tuition fee funding directly to the university, so this is not included in his budget. His living cost funding is paid to him in three instalments throughout the year, one after he is enrolled at university, one in January and one after Easter. This is helpful because Bob knows that he has to pay his halls of residence fees in three instalments too, one after enrolment, one in January and one after Easter. Check your student finance account for your specific payment dates. Bob receives his first instalment of funding in September. He then pays the first instalment of his halls of residence fees through a direct debit payment. He then subtracts other regular expenses such as his mobile phone contract. The sum that he has left over is what he can use to pay for food, travel, study and other costs until his next funding instalments come through. All he has to do now is figure out his weekly budget. He does this by counting the number of weeks until his second instalment is due to be paid to him. Bob finds the date of his next instalment online at his student finance account in the payment details section. Now that he knows the number of weeks until his next instalment, all he has to do is divide his leftover finance by that number and the figure left over is his weekly budget. Remember, everyone's funding is different so this number will vary from person to person. Let's go through that one more time just in case you missed it. He takes his first instalment of funding, subtracts his rent and any other regular expenses, and divides the remaining figure by the amount of weeks until his next instalment. The leftover number is his weekly budget. This is how much he's allowed to spend on a weekly basis. It's really useful and comforting to know what you can and can't spend, and it's very important to learn how to stick to a budget during university. If you are struggling to understand where your money is being spent, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your bank account and to consider keeping a spending diary. You might be surprised to find out what you actually spend as opposed to what you think you spend. This is the first step to being in control of your money. Of course, everyone's situation is different, and if you feel like you are having any problems with funding, don't hesitate to get in contact with us at the Advice and Money team in the Student Support Building on Park Place. We'll be happy to have a chat with you and offer any advice you may need. For even more useful tips, keep up to date with Student Life CU on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. If you have any queries at all, don't hesitate to contact the Advice and Money team.